everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I'm gonna to be trying a balloon dip. Colors I have are Liquitex, Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple, Titanium White, Light Blue Permanent, and Artist Loft in Old Gold. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down a base coat. I will be doing white for my base coat. It is pretty darn thick. The last couple that I tried, I went too thin and they just didn't hold their shape. So this, if you can see, pretty thick. It's making a mound. I have mixed these paints with both um, Floetrol and a bit of golden pouring medium. Floetrol is a work time extender. A genuine artist pouring medium is going to dry faster than Floetrol alone. And I wanted these to be able to set up relatively quickly. Okay, I'm going to put a puddle. As you can see, this is thick. I have a balloon that is loosely inflated. It's still squishy. I really want the gold to show up here. Okay, switching to voice over here because I put this on high speed. This is uh, four times the speed. So uh, I've seen since I did this painting that Julie Cutts puts the paint right on her canvas and does a balloon smash. Gives a different effect, gives a more of a full flower. This seems to give more of uh, more of a petal effect. I could not have made these paints any thicker. Uh, they would not have drizzled off of the stick if they were any thicker than they are. Uh, overall, the the effect is pretty. It's very light and airy. not in love with every of uh, every single one of these balloon smashes but some of them came out really cool and i also uh noticed that it works best with a fresh puddle every time the when i'm loading up the balloon which is why I have to put this on high speed because it was time consuming. But I do think overall it came out pretty. I love these colors together. 
I will be doing some more with these colors eventually. I was having a rough day of painting that day. This was my fourth painting and the only one that I kept. They're not all winners, you know? When you experiment, trying to come up with your own way to do things, sometimes the tried and true way is the best way, but you don't know unless you try. And I'm always trying to reinvent the wheel. Now I'm trying to decide what to do. <laughs> Some of the smashes were bugging me and I tried to fix them. And as you know, sometimes that's not the best idea. But we're about to come back to full speed right now. I don't know that I wanna do any more to this. I have some, it's a phthalo green and blue mix here. I just wanna see what happens. I want to put in a couple of little stems. I feel like I'm going to have to go on for fresh dips every time. Not necessarily on all of them, just a couple to give that impression of stems.
one more right here. I'm not loving this one. I'll try to push it around a little bit. If you can tell, one end of this is pointy, and the other end I have sanded down so that it's got an angle. Comes in handy. Okay, I'm leaving this alone. Uh, I will bring you in for close up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. Lots of different kinds of flower shapes, some flying petals. I do love these colors together. I'm gonna play with those some more. There's like a full Flower shape looks like from the bottom. There it is. Those colors together are very, very pretty. All right. Well, I hope you learned something. I sure did. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar, if you feel so inclined, want to help me stay stocked up in supplies, that's a great way to do it. Also, my Amazon store, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, if you enter through that link, I receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. This groovy silicone mat is in that store, so you can find it there. Uh... My website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can purchase my music and my art, including my brand new CD, Better Than Chocolate, and also my uh, music video for Better Than Chocolate. The link is in there. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. And last but not least, go make some art. Join our Facebook group. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.